All right. Hello, world. Uh, Jade Meister back again. So, if any of you watched my last video, I had this terrible, terrible idea to use these wheelie heels things uh, to walk the dog. So, after I recorded the video, I promptly got on that whole endeavor of putting the heelies on my sneakers and heeling down the road. Clearly, it didn't work out for me. Also, <laughs> my knee was pretty jacked up also. The, uh, it, it was bad. Um, I, uh, I'll have, I have, uh, my two fingers and my knee, I will, their picture should be somewhere over here. I'm hoping if I can get the editing correctly. Or possibly over here. Maybe two pictures. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Either way, it was not a good idea. You guys who said that was a moronic idea, you were right. I tried it anyway. It wasn't, it wasn't a good idea. I did it anyway. Now I know. I figured... I kind of was stupid and let the dog run ahead of me. Um, so that, you know, I could have like a little bit of leeway. No, not a good idea. Should have just kept him right next to me, holding onto his, uh, harness. Uh, yeah. I figured that out after I had fallen and jacked up my knee and my fingers. Uh, it, it wasn't pretty. It really, it really was not pretty at all. The, uh, anyway. It's done. Hopefully I've learned my lesson and I won't do it again. I'll do it again. Because, you know, you got to trust it out one more time just in case. You know, maybe you messed it up the first time and you learned from your mistakes. And so hopefully I'll get it right this time. I, we only went around the block. I didn't do, like, the whole neighborhood or anything like that. I, uh, after I fell and was bleeding, I decided that was not a good idea to do the whole neighborhood. I just, just went around the block just to test it out. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done it, but I did it. Anyway, that's done. I, uh, I got all of my boyfriend's anniversary presents. I'm very excited. Now I just need to go get wrapping paper. That's what I should have done on my way home. I should have gone to Walmart. Damn it. Damn it, guys! Why didn't you remind me? Oh, I'm just looking all over the place. Sorry. Um, so... <laughs> I guess I know what I'm doing tomorrow. Yay! I made a new friend. Uh, I'm not sure how. But, uh, you know that Korean restaurant that I've been going to? The Gungam Zip? Um, <laughs> one of the patrons there was like, Oh, you like Korean food! I was like, yeah! She's like, I'm gonna eat with you! I'm like, okay! So, I have a new friend. She's gonna invite me over to her place at some point. Um, she's a little bit older than I am. Uh, but uh, she, uh, she's actually really nice. She's a nurse. She's very cool. I'm very excited. She said she'd uh, cook me food. Oh, I like free food. I like home cooked food. It's very delicious. I'm very excited. So the, uh, we'll, we'll see how all that turns out. Sorry, my house is a mess. That, that, that context box has been there for like ever. I gotta clean. It's probably like four weeks that it's been up there and it's just trash. I'm just lazy, man. I'm just so lazy. I don't do anything. The house is dirty. I gotta clean it. I mean, I kind of cleaned it last week. Because I thought the boyfriend was coming home. I clean like just before he gets home to make it seem like I've been keeping the house in order. It's a lie. It's a big, fat, filthy lie. If you're watching this, boyfriend. I don't clean the house at all while you're gone. I clean it the night before and I take about two hours to do everything. I need my coffee table footrest thing. Anyway. So, yeah. That was pretty much the main highlight of my week was getting all banged up. Mm. But it was really cool because I kind of did it at like the middle of the night. Well, it wasn't like the middle of the night. It was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So there weren't very many people out. So the dog wasn't going to go crazy. It wasn't too bad. And uh, I was able to go around the block. I had a little bit of control, but not as much control as I would have liked. Again, the Heelys are not 
conducive to walking this this big ass dog here. Yeah, no, it was terrible. Um, but I had uh, I texted the boyfriend pictures of my my battle wounds. <laughs> he ended up calling me like two seconds later. He's like, um. So what did you do again? I was like, yeah, you remember that stupid idea that I had? It was totally stupid. I did it. And it came back to bite me in the ass. He's like, ha ha, I told you not to do it. I was like, I know, but I had to try. <sighs> so I'm one of those people that you have to, I have to do it myself to realize how stupid the idea was. Well, I did it myself. The idea was stupid. I'm going to get real rollerblades this time. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I got I got the boyfriend's anniversary presents. Sidetracked, sorry. I got the boyfriend's anniversary presents. I'm very excited. I have to go get wrapping paper and stuff for those. So we'll get that sorted out and done. Um, he's not gonna watch this. So I got him, oh, I need to go check the mail. I gotta do that. So I got him a couple of books that he wanted. He finally, finally, finally sent me his Amazon wish list. Um, so I got him a couple of books, totally didn't want those. I got him, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, he, it was on his wish list. He did want them, but it weren't like, apparently you can prioritize your wish list. Anyway, I got him those and then I got him a bike strap, strap on bike pack thing for his bicycle. Um, like a little pouch or whatever. I guess it's to like hold his lock and stuff. So I got him one of those. And he really wanted, the things he really wanted was a pen and a water bottle. I think it's like a, an expensive Camelback water, water bottle. So, I mean, it's not that it wouldn't be useful. It's something that he really wanted. And I probably shouldn't have got, I should have gotten those instead, but I didn't. Because I didn't realize that you could prioritize your wish list. Who knew? So maybe I'll get that sorted out next time. Maybe. Not likely. Anyway. So I got him those anniversary presents. So I have to go to the store and I have to go get the wrapping paper and everything like that. So I can get that sorted and done. And then, um, should be good. Yay, he's coming home this weekend. I'm so excited. The... What was I else? I was going to say something. I'm really bad at remembering stuff. I need to get like some ginseng or something. Oh no! The neighbors let their dogs out! Mine are gonna start barking! I have terrible facial expressions. I mean, you can't see like what I'm doing down here, but my eyeballs don't do very much. I'm thinking I'm lifting an eyebrow? No, I'm not. Have you ever done a facial expression like, oh, I'm lifting one eyebrow, but really you just look like you're demented or crazy? That's me. All the time. Even in Walmart when I'm talking to myself. Because I always talk to myself in Walmart. That's how I ever, that's how I ever get anything done. I mean, if I don't talk to myself while I'm walking around in Walmart, I'm not going to find shit. Anyway. Hi, kitty. I'm trying to convince Keegan to let me get another pet because I need another one. I don't really, but I really want one. Anyway, one of my friends uh, does YouTube, and he did this thing called, like, um, I think it was, like, Trip to the Mall or something like that, and I, there was a lot of other YouTubers that do things like trips to wherever and whatnot. I don't think I'm ever going to do that unless I'm going with him, in which I'll probably be wearing this. Ha, 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 ha. Um, but... It was actually really cool. He did a really good job on it. I'm not computer or video editing savvy, so you know, like I said, hopefully I'll get pictures up, but I don't know if I will. <laughs> but he did like, you know, uh, the speed up of like the drive over to the mall and walking around the mall and then he had music overlay and that's definitely something I don't know how to do. I, I can't figure out something like that. I mean, you need like some massive video editing software. I'm using Windows Movie Maker. That's that I I can figure that one out. That one's pretty easy, but yeah, if I want music, I turn on the TV. So I play songs up. So I have my music. 
but that's about it. I don't know. I don't know how to do a lot of that stuff. I mean, I'm sure I could sit down like if I actually sat down and tried it, I could, but I'm not going to. I don't really want to take the time to do something like that. Maybe if this, I don't know if anybody's even going to see this, but it, you know, maybe if this gets bigger and people want to know or people want to hear music that isn't my songs in the background, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the boyfriend was talking to me. He's like, why are you wearing a mask? You're really pretty. You should not wear it. You know, some of the other YouTubers that you watch are all that fabulous to look at, but you're actually really nice. And I'm like, you're just my boyfriend. You have to say that. I don't really believe you. It's not that I have like a self-confidence issue. I mean, I do obviously have a self-confidence issue, but I wear the mask because I like wearing the mask. And you know, other cultures wear them for decoration and I like to wear the mine for decoration and I like to make them. Except I can't make them right now because I'm currently not able to hold things. Do you know how hard it was to use chopsticks yesterday while I was eating at Gungam Zip? I like my entire thing was just like, uh, uh, do you, like I just, I use all of my fingers to hold my chopsticks and, and I couldn't. I mean, I could obviously, I mean, I was able to eat. There's no, no doubt about that. I'm not going to starve just because I can't hold chopsticks. It's, for you guys who don't know how to use chopsticks, I highly recommend learning if you ever go to another country that requires you to learn to eat chopsticks. Or you could do the rubber band trick. Just make sure you put something in between your chopsticks so you can kind of squeeze them. Anyway. Um, if you don't know what the rubber band trick, comment me and I will do a little YouTube tutorial on how to do the rubber band trick with chopsticks and a rubber band. Obviously you would need those things. Um, but... <laughs> Uh, it was really hard to eat with my, it was really hard to eat yesterday. And I'm not ambidextrous. I really wish I was because it would make my life so much easier. No, no, not ambidextrous. Unfortunately, unfortunately. I think I need to go get dog food tomorrow. Anyway, the, uh, the lady at the, the restaurant was like, oh, you like, you like Korean food? We sat and talked for like an hour and a half. This very nice lady that I've never met before. I was very excited that I liked Korean food, and she thought I was very clearly American, and clearly I'm very American. There's no doubt about it. I just happen to also be other ethnicities as well, because that's what America is. A big, giant bowl of mutts. Just like you, Beanie. Just like you. You're a mutt. Yeah, you're a mutt. You're a mutt. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool, but... Uh, We'll see. We'll see how all that turns out. I made a new friend. I, I don't know how I end up making new friends. I've never, like, really made myself try to make new friends. I just acquire them. Mmm, stop, please. I love you, but please stop. Uh, even in school, like, I, I was pretty much, I always thought I was a loner, but I, I had a lot of people that were my friends. I mean, I just... Hey, Jade, how's it going? I'm like, hey, how's it going? Clearly, my name is Jade. I use Jade Meister. Anyway, that's the point. But yeah, no, I was just like, oh, okay, hi, how's it going? Sure, sit with me. We'll eat. We'll be merry. We'll talk. Good times. Um, so we sat and talked for like an hour and a half. That was pretty cool. But that's pretty much, uh, it's been my week so far. And it's only Wednesday. Well, it won't be Wednesday when this is loaded. It'll be Thursday. But when I recorded this, it was Wednesday. I haven't cut my hair. I've been using that shampoo, though. That uh, Focus shampoo. That's been, I guess, working out pretty good for me. I mean, my hair is, my hair is definitely softer. Like, it's definitely more full and it's definitely softer. I don't know if it's growing at all, but I mean, that was... I don't anticipate it growing a lot, you know, within like two weeks of using it. That's just insane. That's like some mutant growth formula or something. But this is my hair. It's growing. But it's definitely softer and silkier and smoother. So I don't remember that being a part of the description, but it is. It's working really well for me. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to do the bang thing. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm not really a girly girl, so I don't really know how to do the girly girl things, like styling the hairs, or making sure the bangs don't go wonky. 
I can put the mascara on. See, you did the mascara. I got that on. I figured out how to do that. I figured out how to do the curling, the curling the eyelash things. Um, but that's it. I watched like 16,000 YouTube videos though on how to do it just to make sure I was doing it right. I still don't think I'm doing it right. I really don't. But it's on my face and it's not clumpy because I hate the clumpiness. And I guess they're curled, right? I don't know. Are they curled? Can you tell? Tell me, world. Are they curled? Are they really curled? I know that my eyelashes grow straight out. Because that's definitely a part of my Asian gene. Like, they just go shlunk. I'm going to grow outwards. They don't curl, so that's why you got to do the little... Hi, Bean. Hi, Bean. I'm trying to convince Keegan to get, let me get another cat. <laughs> I don't think he wants me to get another cat. We already have three dogs and a cat. I have to house, I have to, not house sit, I have to babysit my mother's dogs this weekend. I, she has three dogs. So from Thursday to Monday, I'm going to have six dogs and a cat. It's going to be a zoo. And then Keegan's coming home that weekend too. I mean, I got to... As soon as I get my mother's dogs, I gotta take them in the house, I gotta bathe them, and then I gotta let them loose, and I make sure that nobody has any fleas or anything like that, because my mother's house is full of fleas. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be crazy. It is going to be a crazy weekend, guys. I'll make sure to like record some of it so you can see the craziness that goes on. Kind of branch out from the vlog from the from the vloggy things. Or the vlog thingies. Either way, one of those two. So you can kind of See what it's like in the boring life of the Jade Meister. Um, are you gonna be a cat? Yep, yep, you're gonna be a cat. My dog thinks she's a cat. It happens. My cat also thinks she's a dog because she comes to me when I whistle. But you knew that already. I think I've already said that. So, anyway, fun times, fun times. So, that's pretty much my week so far. I won't be able to make another mask, so I'll probably just rotate between this one and the other one until my fingers are in more range of motion. As it is right now, I really can't bend them past what the band-aids are right now. When I do, the skin kind of rips, and it's really painful. Um, it's not it's not a pretty sight. I mean, the pictures that I'm gonna post are a lot worse than what they really what than what they look like now because they've had time to like heal over and scab over a little bit. Um, after I think after today or tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and take the band-aids off and let the wounds kind of like aerate a little bit and everything like that. As it is right now, I'm pretty sure I've got like the band-aid patch um, pattern indented in my skin. Um, I might have the band-aid on too tight. I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't band-aid myself very often. So we'll see. Um, I have to take them off when I take a shower though, because even though these things say waterproof, they are not fucking waterproof. Do you know that I've gone through like six band-aids, even though they say waterproof, I've gotten so much fucking water in my band-aids. I think it's just because I'm putting them on my fingers and I'm bending my fingers a lot, but these don't, they don't stick. They don't seal. And I don't, I have yet to find a band-aid that does this. That doesn't like leak open. Maybe I need to get like finger waterproof band-aids or something. I don't know. But I mean, look at this. It's not, I've only had this on for a day and this is supposed to be sealed. Like, band-aid sealed without any issue. I'm not finding it. So if you guys know of a band-aid that actually fucking works, comment me so I can find it and I can go buy it and get a fucking band-aid that works. Anyway, I was so pissed off. I was like in the shower washing my hair and then all of a sudden my fingers are fucking burning like hell. I was like, God damn it, these are supposed to be sealed. No, they don't seal. I don't know what to do. I don't know what other band-aids I could possibly get. I didn't see any specific like waterproof finger band-aids at the H-E-B. I live in Texas. We have an H-E-B. Get over it. Actually, anything past 
a certain point, like towards east of east of Central Texas, there's no HEB. It's like Central Texas, straight up and down. Um, if you guys have watched Graveyard Girl, she takes she takes you on a follow me around around HEB too. So, you know, they're up there in Houston. But like, yeah, HEBs kind of just kind of go straight down. Straight down the middle of Texas. I don't know if they go up north. I don't really know how far HEBs really go. But past a certain point east, it starts becoming like Kroger and Food Lion and all of those people. And then I don't know what's on the west coast. I've never been to the west coast. I don't have any family on the west coast. You guys have to let me know what it is. Like, is it the Blossom place? Blooms? Blooms? I think that's one of... I don't know. Anyway. anyway, you see how well-traveled I am. But anyway, that's pretty much what's going on this week. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Until next time, YouTubers world. I will see you later. Probably shouldn't ever watch these four, first four videos. They're the worst. They really are. We'll see what happens though. I'll see you next time. Once the boyfriend leaves, I'll record again. I won't record in front of the boyfriend. That's just weird. Anyway. Until next time, I will see you guys again. Bye, world.